I'm a man that likes to consider himself street smart. I know one of you fuckers... Someone's gonna disagree with me. And that person's going to disagree with me because he stole something from me. If I s leave a jacket, if I forget to bring the jacket with me, and you steal it from my seat, then congratulations. It probably wasn't that big of a deal anyway. But what I mean by street smart is that the whole world in the moment is a game of sales. Someone's always trying to sell you something, and odds are, it sucks. It's a total scam. And what you gotta do is you gotta avoid the sale. If someone has to make something look like a bigger deal than it actually is, or has to convince you that this is the real deal, nine times out of ten, nine point nine 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 times out of ten, it's not worth it. Really. I think that introverts have a tendency to despise and vilify extroverts more than atheist cult people hate on Christians or said internet related conflict here. If I follow the internet, then only the internet, I would assume that introverts were the majority and these introspective people nine times out of ten they're not even real introverts themselves they're just assholes that nobody likes so they have to be by themselves like me that's not the case necessarily and part of the reason why these introverts probably despise and vilify extroverts so much is that they fall for all the sales tactics See, they're looking for your introverted ass. They're looking for the undisciplined introvert that has the resources and knows nothing to do with them. That's what the panhandlers are looking for when they tell you a story and convince you to give them money. That's what everyone does, essentially. Fuck it. If your ass was sold on a story and it went nowhere, then next time think about it. Next time think about your decisions. Don't vilify an entire group. Don't attribute these moral turpitudes to them because someone screwed you over. That level of projection is disgusting and it's kind of why I really don't like places like 4chan I see them as cesspools that make the community of NYC look morally honest and intellectually clean and that's a problem anyway this is Mr. Wonka 7 and y'all can go to hell I don't like any of you guys Y'all can eat a dick. Have a nice day.